Hey, welcome back. This is Tony, and that's Grandpa Tony out there doing some fishing. <laughs> that I'd start you off with that. I was thinking about playing with the uh, the fishing for such a long time that uh, just had to give it a shot, and so I didn't. Uh, there wasn't enough action, uh, enough fishing action to make that a whole little segment on the recording or anything. So just dropped it in there. Anyway, glad that you're back watching. Please subscribe. Tell all your friends to subscribe. Tell your neighbors, everybody you see, say, hey, go watch uh, Grandpa Tony and subscribe. Brings a tear to my eye. Uh, you know what? I think it's the smoke. It's so smoky here in Minnesota from this, the uh, fires, the fire, um, what do you call it? The forest fires in Canada. And uh, I think there's still some going on in uh, northern Minnesota too. Boy, it was so smoky today. The smoky. Anyway, so uh, I'm on the um, the woodshed. That's my server. It's a vanilla Minecraft in survival mode with claiming turned on. If you want some more information about my server, go to LostTreasureHuntGame.com. Ah, Lost Treasure Hunt Game. So Lost Treasure Hunt Game is a game I just kind of created. Simple game. I planted treasure all over the uh, server, and uh, you use a simple uh, coordinates. Um, uh, coordinates on a, on a um, what do you call it grid paper to create a X marks the spot and where the X marks the spot is where the treasure is and then you the, so the the math and there's no math really I guess there could be if you wanted to simplify it there's some math involved but um, the part of the game is just is just um, traveling to the location to find the treasure and the treasure's buried in most cases, in some cases, uh, I guess in a lot of cases, it's in plain sight. Uh, there's some treasure that's not even uh, listed. It's just there. I just, you know, just randomly put treasure uh, out there. And you'll actually see some islands uh, that are really small islands that have lots of treasure buried beneath them. Those are listed as coordinates, but pretty easy to find. It's a little island in the middle of nowhere in the ocean. So uh, easy to find those. Uh, so, what I have here below me are pictures of my mom's books. My mom, from 2013 to 2021, wrote seven books. Uh, that was her dream, was to, to um, be an author. And I never really found out about that till late in her life, in, the, in her 70s, she talked about that. And um, I, don't, I don't remember knowing that when I was growing up. But uh, we got her involved in self-publishing, and so she just got busy. Once she, once she figured out how to do it, um, she just kept writing one after another after another. Uh, sadly, she passed away in 2021 after her last book, which is the top one there on the list. But um, anyway, that's uh, that's my mom's books. That link below takes you to her. For more information, in fact, there's a recording, the video. These are it's a recorded. It's, it's a video, but it's, I think it's just audio and maybe some pictures um, uh, where she talks about the, the bunny book um, that, that must have already passed. The picture oh, it must have already passed, but she talks about the bunny book, um, about why she wrote that, about this bunny that came into her yard one day and she just started taking pictures of it. In fact, the first selfie picture that my mom ever took of herself included the bunny. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy. Anyway. So, let's jump into it. I'm going to show you where I am. Let's see if it's daylight there. Oh, it is finally daylight. There I am. Got my armor on. Yeah. There you go. Looking good, huh? Looking good. So, I'm going to sh I'm a I'm on the top of a new build. And uh, in fact, I'll make this build available on Discord in the coming days. I don't have time to do it right now. I I saved it. I say I guess I could do it fairly soon, but um, I'm going to show you where I am here in a second, right? So let's go to the building of this castle. Uh, I found, uh, as you know, I like to build stuff near um, uh, villages. It's just kind of fun to interact with the villagers, and um, I build stuff usually to. Um, you know, create more beds and more jobs so the villagers will, will grow. Their population will expand. And so, 
if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that that's what I like to do. I don't know what it is. I, it's something about the, the the AI of the game and the little villagers. Um, in fact, I was thinking, speaking of AI, uh, I think I said IA in one of the previous shows, <laughs> previous videos. But you know, it's, it's funny when you're looking at yourself and you're looking at the background and you're just kind of talking off the top of your head. Uh, it's easy to twist things around. Like I normally will, will call a torch, I'll call it a candle. And normally I'll call a um, uh, an iron pickaxe, a silver pickaxe. I don't know. And your mind is somewhere, and you're trying to think, you know, a little, a little ahead of what, what I'm going to talk about next. Crazy. Anyway, so I started out this um, just doing that pattern there. That's all the rooms that we're going to have, and those are in the bottom as well. This is the second level that you're looking at there. Um, and then I used, then I just like I to speed things up for myself. I mean, I don't have a lot of time, you know, Grandpa Tony don't have a lot of time left right so <laughs> I just use some uh, world edit commands and and uh, to stack that up higher real, real quick you can see the grass right there got stacked up as well so it was just it was sitting on the same level that I that I was doing the, the, um, the basic part so anyway I did the basic part stacked it up taller and then I'm putting in the um, the rooms here obviously putting doors and but I put candles on the inside uh, did some editing on this video here just to speed it up some um, not the speed that you see there but just a I just chopped some stuff off that was redundant you didn't need to you didn't need to see that for me to tell the story like you'll see an edit right there <clears throat> so then the top is going to be the same um, what I was going to do was just stack this as well but then I thought and and and, but then I decided I'll just copy the bottom and put it in the top and there you go. You can see I've got torches on the inside of the rooms and on the outside of the rooms, but there's no... The door is there? The doors must be there. I wouldn't have copied it if I had done that. So yeah, I see the doors there. So that, that speeds things up a little bit. And so I'll at some point put a roof on. During the recording of this, uh, using um, replay. Uh, I love replay. In fact, something if I remember, I'll tell you this in a little bit about replay. Uh, so I got to put a roof on here. Then I decided, well, it's just, just not going to be a roof. It's going to be the upper part of a, the castle. This is a castle, by the way. Um, and um, so I put a garden up there. And uh, I ended up putting some sheep up there. And then uh, a, a day or two later, I came back. I said, you know what? I want this open. And so in the middle there... I'll show you that when I, when I go back to the game in real time here. But I cut the middle out so it's like a balcony. So the second floor actually looks down onto the first floor. And um, and I think I'd like to do this again at some point and uh, make it open all the way to the sky and just have a balcony like around the top on the castle thing here. I'm never really not satisfied with it. this one too much because it I didn't really um, uh, mark it out the correct amount of so the, I don't know what you call the stanchions or whatever, What's that, what are, the things are on the top of a castle. They don't really um, make sense. There's a couple that are, are wrong. Maybe there's, actually there's only two that's wrong, so it's not a big deal. I mean, I'm satisfied with it. For what it is, it's just a game, right? We're just playing as a sandbox. There's no points. There's no winning, no losing. It's kind of the thing I like about the sandbox idea is that uh, there's no winning, no losing. What did I do? How did I get here? Oh, that's right. I remember now. Never mind. So, there it is. There's the garden up there. Oh, and then I was going to say, right, not, not too far away, I put a little, some, some farmland. This is always good for the, for the villagers. And it's not too far. Uh, far of a walk for the villagers and then I changed the the outside or the brick from just your basic cobblestone to deep slate something deep slate brick I think I really like the look of that especially for a castle right and so when I when I so that is here let's go let's go to the what it looks like right now hope it's nighttime 
I'm still in creative, so I didn't want to get uh, killed while I was talking to you. Uh, what do I want? Day. So let's, and then I've got the, the beauty look turned on. I love the look of this. Everything looks great when you have this turned on. So there we go. We've got some. There's the garden. And I put some uh, pigs up here as well. Of course, I cheated to put them up there. But, you know, like I said, I don't have all the time in the world left here. <laughs> I just want to just want to get stuff done get some sheep up there pigs and sheep what else what else do you need in life and a door to get to it right just like that okay let's go down uh where is down again uh, let's see oh right here and i'll show you what's what's going on a lot of times i'll have jobs inside these places inside the the builds i didn't put any jobs oh yeah well they're on the roof this time yeah a lot of times i have a whole floor that's jobs. But here we just have the beds. I have a crazy thing happened. I came in here yesterday and looked, and the bed wasn't there. But the outline, you could see just if you looked real hard, you could see the outline of something there. You can get on top of it. But nothing was there but the outline. So I had, I don't know why. So I just broke it and put a, a, another one in there. I don't know what would have caused that. You know, computer thing, I guess. So there's the look in the balcony, looking over, right? I like that look. I really like that look. And so then we'll go down to the first level. Same thing, same number of beds, same number of rooms. Some of the rooms have one bed. Most of the rooms just have one bed, but some have, if I can find it, three beds. There you go. You need that to get a get that uh, villagers jump started at making more villagers okay so one thing I was gonna say about re replay I saw this when I was using replay to video the um, the tracks the uh, the rail tracks and for the rail cars in a couple of episodes ago um, so let's say I start here right and I've got some railroad tracks if you go back look at those ep other episodes railroad tracks um, what are they called? Minecart right? On minecart rails. Anyway, so what I did, I left the camera in this area. If you know anything about replay, it allows you to record this whole thing, but it records all the data. So then you can come back and move the camera wherever you want it to go, so you can see what was so what's what's going on. Just like you you saw that previous video that I just showed. So then my character, my little avatar, he goes way off to the other side, to the other desert hideout or something. And I left the camera here. Suddenly the world starts disappearing because the character isn't in this area. Uh, and so th there's no data being collected because all the data that's being collected is where I'm going, right? If that makes any sense. Um, so I want to do it again. No, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do it right now. I want to experiment where I start the video here and then my character leaves like I'm doing now to see if the villagers still move around or if they just disappear which I think is what happens since there's no data being collected they just disappear and uh, good looking castle huh for that oh let's go into survival mode here Okay. And um, yeah, it's weird. It's weird. It's the the image the imagery starts to disappear. I want to try that as an experiment sometime. Hey, look at who's that guy? Who is that guy? Let's see which one. Uh, which one? There we go. I want to take that off. I always end up with not enough video. Oop, a little back step there. Oh, sorry. Bumped into the pig. <laughs> All right. I always end up with not enough video without that little... Um,
inventory thing on the bottom. Mm. I'd rather when I, when I edit my little things for YouTube and Instagram, I like not to have that that inventory on the bottom there. So let me just indulge me for just a second here. I want to go to the front. Where's the front? There it is there. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Dude, that'll look good. There you go. Look for that in a, in a, in a short, in a video short. Good job. All right, let's get back to it. We're going to go look for some trouble. And uh, strangely enough, I know where some trouble is. Oh, oh that's some serious trouble if I walk into the into the uh, lava. <laughs> that's, that's called not really starting the day off right. Good looking for trouble music going on there. Yes, indeed. Okay, I know there's a big crack in the earth right here somewhere. There we go. There's an easier way to get down there. Hmm. There's an easier way to get down there. Yep, indulge me just for two seconds here. There we go. Hey, there's a bumblebee back there. Okay. Hey, so once again, uh, this is Tony, and I'm on the woodshed. That's my server. You're invited to come play at any time. Instructions and information on how to get there. It's right here on the screen or down below in the uh, information um, here on um, YouTube. Um, uh, but you can also go to the LostTreasureHuntGame.com for information. Send me an email. I have, um, this is, this is uh, as you'll see, when you look at the videos, they'll say made for kids. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's made for kids only because I don't curse and swear like a, some of the other uh, players do. But, you know, when I'm watching them, I don't mind that. But Grandpa Tony, sometimes the grandkids watch it, some this, my videos. So I'd like to keep the, I keep it uh, set to good for children. Um, oh, I meant to turn my phone off. Um, safe for children. Um, so the grandkids don't see a lot of craziness in the comments. Yep, and there's mom again. All right. Let's get back to the game. But uh, that's why I said to... Where's the button? Is this the right button? That's why I said to... Um, to send me emails if you want to send a comment. These comments are turned off because it's made for kids. To keep things safe for the grandkids. Alrighty. Oh, oh. You know, I guess I... Oh, you know what I didn't do? Oh, I hate when I do that. Let's see, where am I going to come back? Where am I going to spawn back? Oh, don't I do this every time? Don't I do this every time? Okay. I'm a quick like a buddy. Just another one of my favorite sayings. Um, I'm going to cheat real quick here. Get a bed. What color? Oh, I like blue. Okay. So now we're good there. Let's go back to survival. All right. And I want to see my inventory. Which one number is that? Oh, nope. Oh, I took a screenshot by accident. I can never remember what, what number. I have a different keyboard here. My other computer, I used to have it all marked out on the keyboard in the old days, the beginning days of, of playing this game. But now I I don't, and I sometimes forget. Okay, so let's do this. 
this looks like a safe place. I'm just going to put you right there. Boom. Okay, spawn point set, but it's not late enough for... Oh boy, this is another one of those where it's... Uh-oh, I hear some trouble. Where are you? Oh, you know what? Before I start getting into trouble... What getting some stuff here? Oh, you know what? I know you're going to laugh here because I'm using a stone pickaxe. But I do have a... I do have one iron one so I can... In case I find gold. There you go. That's for you, buddy. Oh, I have to go up there to get that stuff. I'll get it later. Yeah, I was looking around oh. the other day, yesterday maybe, and I saw this cave. I thought, yeah, this is going to be fun, and I saw. saw some iron ore but I just wa I went past it just now I think there's gotta be more boy this is down far I didn't realize how far down this was wow oops wow this is way down there what do you think level three Holy cow, you don't usually find these that go that far down. Okay, I need some cobblestone here. Why do I need that, you say? Let's see, how far down does this go? Oh, I can just do this. There we go. Look at that, I found some good stuff right away. That is not usually the case, is it? What's down there? What is down there? Looks like a lot of nothing down there. Oh! Crap. <laughs> Where am I? That wasn't the plan. I'm way down. Uh-oh, what's that? There we go. That's something good over there. Oops. Get back up there. Oh, there's water there. That's what that is. Hard to see water with this... Um, turned on as you know I don't want to block the water I just want to make my way over there we go all right where's the iron I see I do have an iron pickaxe just for this occasion Maybe I'll surprise you one day and I'll make a, an armor, a suit of armor made from gold. Oh, there's more up there. He hit the mother load, I like to say. The mother load. Oh, that's just, um, well, I want it anyway, but that's just, um, iron ore. I'm not going to waste my... I know what you're thinking. 
Here's Grandpa Tony. He goes back and forth between creative and survival all the time. So he's he's not afraid of cheating in the game. His cheats are part of the game. So why doesn't he just always have enough iron to make uh, his iron pickaxes all the time? You know, I ask myself that sometimes. I hope oh, there's some good stuff over there. How do I get there? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what is my, my compulsion with not wanting to cheat all the time. You know, I want to be able to... Um, I, I don't mind cheating a little bit. Oops. If I was going to be in creative all the time, well... And I'd be building stuff all the time. That's, I think that's kind of the reason for a creative is to build stuff. But, you know, in this case, it's to speed things up. I have enough to talk about. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, what's over here? Anything? Anything? I'm so far down, I'm surprised I even found iron ore. Uh-oh. Trouble. Get your sword ready. Where is he at? There he is. Here. Got some trouble for you. Boom. Uh-oh. There's a witch down here. That's not good. Okay. Well, good. You know what? Maybe I should bring the bed down further so I don't have to go so far back, right? Maybe I will do that. Do I have an axe? Hey, good on you. Good on you. Now where's that? Oh, there's some iron ore. Let me go back and get the bed. Okay. So we'll put that down here for, so I don't have to come back so far back up. Now where's that iron ore that I just saw? There it is. I'm back here. I'm oh, sure. Wound myself diving after some iron ore. Oh, and that's right. I fell, so I have to go further down. But you know, I don't have to go exactly where I was, do I? No, not really. But... Oh, what's that? That looks like gold. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Where is it? And luckily, I have some dirt here since I don't have enough cobblestone. I'm surprised I haven't. I haven't dug enough to. Where to go? Oh, there it is. To collect enough. Um, Is this is it gold no no oh well okay iron ore is good also and really never have enough of it of course yes as we we're just saying I could cheat <laughs> I could have all the, I don't, don't even need to mine for it I could just cheat and get it right but it's just kind of fun Kind of fun to earn it. Oh, did that drop all the way down there or did I get it? I don't know. Okay, are we good here? We're good here. And you know what? I'm going to take back my my candle. <laughs> my torch. I knew I was, it was coming out of my mouth, so I thought I said, I'll just say it anyway. And let's see. How am I going down? Yep, right this one. Right. All right, before I go, is there anything else here? Okay, so this one? Yeah, I have a shovel. Yes, I do. Just one about to wear out. Okay. 
There we go, we'll save all that dirt for later. Well, that's weird. Computer's having problems there. Look at what is, what's happening there. Is that just me? Does you guys see that too? Uh, I might have to restart the computer. All right, anyway. Let's get down here. I'll leave that crazy stuff up there. Okay, now I've been here before because I've made that to walk across. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess I could say I've been here before because there, there are torches down here too. Oh, lava. I don't remember there being lava here. Let's go up here. What's up, what's up here? Of course, I have no idea where... I, oh, I didn't put the bed down. I was just going to say, I have no idea where I put the bed, and I didn't put it anywhere. What do you think? Should I put it here? Good thing I thought about that because it had it been killed. Uh, oh crap. Speaking of being killed, I get I can't be killed right now because I don't have a bed placed. I picked the bed up and so I'll be placed way the heck somewhere else. Oh, thank goodness. Where's the bed? Quick, 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 quick. The bed down. Put the bed down. Put the bed right there. The bed there. Hop on it. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen that happen. Oh, geez, I am so far away. Oh, in fact, I'm in the spawn point. The uh, creeper blew the bed up before I had a chance to get in it. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. That's never happened before. I thought I would, I didn't think the creeper was nearby. I was going to just get it down there before the zombies killed me and, and set the spawn point. Really? Anyway, this is the spawn point when you come into the game. You know, welcome to the woodshed. Type by MOTD, the message of the day. If you type that, then you'll get a... MOTD. You'll get information that uh, tells you about the... You need a golden shovel and a stick if you want to... Um, if you want to claim some some land like i've claimed this space right here so no one can take destroy this and that's what you that's the point of claiming when you come into the game you'll come in uh, you'll be automatically given a golden shovel and a stick but if you don't if you if you the the, the motd um gives you a, a, a tells you how to get it if you don't have it already okay so there's some crazy looking towers over there I threw those up. And then there's a bridge, a long bridge. Can't remember where it goes. It goes a long ways though. <laughs> and then there's a bridge on the other side. This other bridge over here was made of treasure. Well, it had treasure mixed into it. And uh, someone came in and took some of the treasure, but there's a there's a bunch of treasure left on that on that bridge. Huh. Someone put a box there. Yeah, this this bridge goes a long way. I think someone accidentally took a chunk out of the bridge. Oh. I think there might be treasure inside these things. I think. I can't remember why I did that. Why I created those. There might be treasure. Yeah, it's the other players have been here. I'm walking over here because I want to show you this. Look at that up there. One of the players, I haven't seen him on, on in the game for a while, but he created this huge thing. He was doing this all in survival, and I just couldn't believe it. And I said, how'd you do that? He says, well, I, he says, I died a thousand times falling from there. And so I, I gave him uh, ops permission so he could just fly and build, because he was building some really cool stuff. This is, all this part here is new, I think, since he became an operator. And then over there, he's got a castle over there. 
since uh, becoming an operator. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do that for everybody. Okay, so I have to get back to my game, what I was doing, where I got blown up by the. By that creeper. Yeah, put some horses here. You want to go riding and inside. Yep, there's still saddles inside there. But when you come down, spawn point is right over. Oops, spawn point's right over there somewhere. Remember, because the tower is right there. I think once you come into the forest, you'll see this little sign here that says it's a trail ride, and I create a little trail if you want to go trail riding with the with the horse. What is that? That chicken? No. No, you're not a chicken. Um. But, oh, and then over here. I guess I might be too far away from it. Oh. What did I do down there? I might have been just mining down there. I think. Or maybe it goes somewhere. Put a, boat, a bunch of boats out here. Uh oh. Villagers are in the boats. I'm not going over there because you know what's going to happen. Okay. Let's, uh. Let's do what I can do because I'm an op, of course. I'm an owner. I, I own the thing. So. See if I can remember. Did I village near spawn? Yep. Here, write this number down. I'm going to uh, teleport to negative 1372. Elevation of 77, and then 675. Okay, boom. We're back. Back outside the castle. Yes, indeed. Uh, oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to come over here. Do I have storage? I always set something up like this when I'm building. So I can make my tools and do my stuff here. Here, let's put this... Um, get something cooking while I'm off on my adventures. Um, there we go. And get our gold cooking. All right, don't 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 even think about coming into the game and taking my gold if I forget and leave it there. Big trouble. Big trouble. I didn't, uh, I didn't claim any of this land here. So, you come in. You can, you're you're welcome. You're welcome to it. Okay, okay. If you come into the game, oh, I don't have a bed. I'm not going to cheat and get another one. You know, I'll just steal one from the game here, or the castle. The um. I'll take one. There's I know there's a room with two beds. I'll take one of those. And leave one. I don't want to have a room with no bed. And you got to have a room with three beds. There we go. There's my axe. There we go. I'll take one of those. I'll put it back later. I mean, it's no big rush. I don't think that the villagers haven't found this castle yet. I haven't found anyone walking over here. There's a villager there. There's a few villagers. More, and there's more than enough zombies. I did have a, I recorded a pretty good fight with the zombies and spiders and a couple of uh, creepers. The nice thing about creepers is that they really don't destroy a whole lot. And that's part of it because I have a um, world protect turned on or some such, uh, the, the, the stuff that you put on, turn on the settings and the plugins that you know for the um, for the claiming and stuff. Those things are turned on. 
that protects a lot of stuff from the creep out. And that's good. You know, in the game, when I'm playing the grandkids and we're playing in, um, we're playing in survival mode. It's, you know, it's, it's okay. It's kind of fun when the creepers blow up and they, they blow up what you've been working on. As long as you haven't been working on something for like an hour, like, you know, really building, really getting into it. And then the creeper comes and blows it up. That's really not fun at that point. But I do like playing on my server where the creeper doesn't blow your stuff up. It'll blow you up. I actually, I have seen it blow something up and I'm, I wasn't really quite sure why it, sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. But most times the creeper just blows you up and leaves your build alone. How do we get down there? Did I just really, did I really just jump down there? Ugh. Oh, that's a long way down. All right, let's try this. Oops. This will work for a little while. Oh, come on. All right, can't get the angle at. All right, there we go. Why do I have an egg in my inventory? That wasn't a chicken, was it? No. Why isn't this going? The light's there. Okay, computer's acting weird. The game is acting weird now. It's not letting me place a chunk of dirt where I need to place it. All right, let's try this. There we go. Now, this is where I was. And paper came and blew me up, right? I think. All right, I don't see any treasure down here. This is not fun anymore. I want treasure. Did I just go in a circle there? Uh-oh, I hear somebody. You may be able to see it better than I am I, when you're watching the recording because my lights are so bright <laughs> to make me look good. I can't see what's going on. Okay, I see something over there. Is that a little creeper or a little uh, zombie? Those guys are just vicious. Yeah, oh. Goes crazy. Uh oh. There you go. There you go. Where's that guy at? He's in. Oh. Look how far away that, um,. That, um, that skeleton was getting me from such a long distance. There you are. 
there, is there another skeleton? Up there in the dark somewhere. So, you know what's next? Must be a creeper somewhere. Get out of here. What the? He was hiding down in a little trench. Uh oh. There's two of them. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I put the bed down. Or did I? Oh, dang it. I forgot to put the bed down. So. Oh, for crying out loud. I forgot to put the bed down, so I'm back at the spawn point. Yikes. Okay. So, Tony, the point was to put the bed down so you don't go through this every time. Hmm. Oh, it's nighttime. You know, if this has only been here for a short time, and I haven't been in the world that much, so my, my village buddies haven't discovered it. I, what I would normally do when I come back is I, I'd, um, I'd go through the oh, creeper. I'd go through the castle to see if any, anyone's asleep since it's nighttime. But it's so new that no one's no one's discovered it yet. What I'll have to do most likely is um, feed them low, just low tons of loaves of bread you know how that works once they're full they uh, they get a little more active if you know what I'm saying okay so here should I put the bed here or a little bit further down I don't think I've found all the treasure there is to find yet. Oh, hey, why don't you put the bed up here, huh? Nah, that's too far up. Although, gosh, I should have taken note of where I was finding some of that gold. This water, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. I like, I guess I do like the color of the water. It's just hard to see in a cave. All right. Here. Oh, you know, if I was smart, I would have put this underneath where I where I could drop down onto it. So, <laughs> if you've seen the video where I do a bed drop and I drop from a long ways up onto the bed. I should do that next time. Now. Did I, did I sit on the bed already? Oh, what a short memory. Like they say, I've got a good memory. It's just short. There's the bed up there. I've already set the spawn point. Good. I should write that coordinate down. What do we got there? Minus 12, 20, oh, minus 27. That's way down there. 804. Okay. Oh, my eyes watering again from the smoke. There's no smoke in the house. But... <laughs> It just, you know, once, you're, once you've been outside for a while. Nope, oh, back to the game. What am I doing? Turn that off. That, turn that on. Okay, now back here. Once you get that smoke in your eyes, it kind of stays there. <laughs> like the song, Smoke Gets in Your Eyes. I can't remember how that song goes. But you know what? We are just too far down, I believe, to find any meaningful treasure. Okay, I remember the trench here. Maybe I can find out where the... 
where the mob spawn is. I've mentioned that in the past. I haven't found, I haven't seen that in a long, long time. Where you run across the room where the where the uh, generator is, creating the oop, water. Don't want to be in the water. There's lots of cool stuff in there too, like a shoot box, records, other crazy little stuff. see that uh oh I see something there what is that oh just iron I'll take it just iron he says the thing that you look for all the time that you really need all the time just iron uh oh I'm low on torches too yep um There we go. That's a few. Well, the next time you're looking for someone to email, email me and let me know what you think of that castle. I've always wanted to build a castle. Not the best cat castle I've ever seen. It was fun. Hope oh, there's a bat. Hey, bud. Um, but it came, it went together, you know, fairly well. I, I would measure the top again better, measured out so the, like, I don't know what those things are called on top of a castle that make it look like a castle, <laughs> but measure that out so they come out even. That's, that was the thing. I just, I didn't like how the middle just didn't come out right. All right. What level am I at here? Wrong key. There we go. Oh, minus 35. You know what? There's just not only is there going to be nothing down this far, I don't think, or very little of anything to find. I really need uh, to use my iron pickaxe to speed things up. But you know what? I know where this cave is, so I'll come back another time. And we'll find more stuff. I'm surprised I have it this far down. I should have found some redstone. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Do you believe that? It The words just left my mouth, and there it is. I know I need the iron pickaxe for this. Literally, the words just left my mouth. What's that? Oh, diamonds. Okay. We are going to come back here in a future in a future episode. Should I write down the coordinates of where this is? I should. All right. So this is at uh, minus 1198, minus 44, that's way down. And 775, oops, get a 3 instead of a 5. Okay. Yes, we're going to come back here. I should, make, I should tell myself what that is. So the bed is at that coordinate, and there's treasure at that coordinate. Yeah, it's always good to write notes next to your coordinate numbers that you write down, because <laughs> I've got I've got little notebooks of coordinates that mean nothing. You know, a minute after you write them down, you've, you've forgotten what what it means. Cool. All right. Just to give you a little thrill here, where are we at? We're not even. We're almost an hour. I'm going to use the the iron pickaxe. I know you're you're thinking, why doesn't he do that? Why doesn't he use that darn iron pickaxe? Why is he always using the 
stone pickaxe. Crazy. Crazy. You know, one thing I've wondered, I've never tried it, I've never played with dynamite, with TNT, and um, I wondered if you can use it for mining, can me, is, or is it just something to, you know, some fun stuff to blow your friends up, or, you know, blow up your friends' uh, buildings. Of course, if you're on my server and you've set your claiming correctly, no one can blow your stuff up. But anyway, my point is, I wonder if you could, I could come in here, you know, dig my way in a little ways, and then set some TNT down. And I suppose I'd use the the red dust to make a fuse to get out of there, and then blow it up. If there's treasure here, will the treasure still be visible? You know what I'm saying? Does it, when you blow it up, will you actually blow up the treasure and it would disappear? Or would it like be loose and sitting around someplace like in a you know in a real situation better look at the clock there I've got another thing to do so we're gonna wrap this up and I'm not gonna waste your time trying to find the bed we don't need the bed I don't need to find my way out I'll leave myself in here for later yeah, there's nothing here. That's that's the disappointing thing about being way deep. You find stuff so sporadically, just like almost never. At least me. Now this is way deep, right? Yeah, minus 44. This is this is why I say I was surprised that I was surprised to find this other treasure over here that I found. Another room, or no, same room. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. That was my Minnesota goodbye, where I said goodbye, but I really didn't. I didn't go bye bye. If you're not from Minnesota, that's what a Minnesota goodbye is. You're leaving the as you're leaving the house leaving someone's visiting someone and you're leaving it's like you really don't get out it's like oh yeah let me tell you this one other thing oh have you seen so-and-so for a while and you never really leave this water yep okay I'm back to where I was okay good enough you know what I'm just gonna leave myself here hope to hear a I thought I heard a creeper, but maybe not. All right. Now I know I just heard a, a uh, the spider here somewhere. Where? 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 <laughs> here somewhere all right enough of that nonsense so that was today's adventure please give me a thumbs up subscribe join my discord um, there are some um, builds from previous episodes for free on the um, uh, on the um, in the discord and then the last several builds I'm going to put those in there too um, there's the the desert Hilton in a, uh, in a previous episode a most recent episode the desert Hilton there's the uh, castle that I just built I'll put that in there the third one
can't think of what it is. Anyway, there's three that I need to to, to uh, zip up and put them in there. So don't expect them to, to be there too soon. I'll try to get a, I'll try to get them in there within within the week. So now that I've said I'm going to do it, then I'll I'll do it. Um, but they're all free. Um, and that like that. So come on to the woodshed and um. Play, just you just play you know vanilla minecraft build your own stuff and bring your friends and your friends can and your actually your friends you guys can take over the um, the unique builds that are on the server I don't have a video of those right now accessible I should I should always have those in here so I can show you I'll do, I'll do something special but if you look in some previous episodes you can see uh, the, the Japanese township the Italian piazza the medie medieval village and um, Mountain View Castle. There's a bunch of those spread out, and then there's just one jungle temple. Uh, jungle Temple's got some treasure underneath it in a in a labyrinth of, of uh, hiding places. Um, but the other ones, not so much. One of the other ones might have some treasure in it, but I really I wasn't thinking about putting treasure in those. But there is one I think that has treasure in it. Anyway, so there you have it. That's today. Our today's episode and um be sure to check out my mom's books right there hey mom and um we will see you next time on the woodshed here at uh grandpa tony's woodshed i should put my title on that last page there oh huh. hmm yeah I might, have, I might have to do that like i need one more thing to do right Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> thanks for watching. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Thanks.